that somebody who comes in here and let's say to cure herpes or even cancer like you were telling me or you were just on the phone with a woman friend of yours who has cancer i guess you're helping her cure it is that the uh it's a friend a sister aha and two of her brothers have already died from it and she's been diagnosed with some terminal thing it's a third bite so she had heard about my mother curie yeah so her sister found i think her name's rose this woman the woman that i know her name's angela phones her uh, her sister with cancer because she knows about my mother and so she called me i said have her call me and i'll help her out well that's you all the way see so anyway when did you get herpes when did it start uh sometime in the 80s i think And I cured my herpes in 1993. And I showed that's right Saturday a day two days ago. Right. Today's Monday. You decided to cure your herpes. That's right and I had never made that decision before. And Because I know what it feels like to decide to cure something and I knew I hadn't done it with herpes. It's very strange. Uh-huh. I mean I had attempted but I hadn't Decided. I hadn't chosen to cure it. You've cured the flu. You've cured, which is incurable. <laughs> well, I haven't really been interfered with a lot because when I test for viruses, I may not have been. I mean, I, I probably was getting a lot of interference because I test for viruses very often. You're going to find that you get tests that they're there when they're not. Well, it's more that they get tested or not there when they are. Yeah, you'll get that too. So you have to you have to dig down and go body by body and then don't just test is there any You can feel your gravitational body, right? Yeah. Okay. Don't just test is there any virus in my gravitational body. Actually feel your gravitational body. and go through it feel it like you know yeah you just sort of scan it and right. all any all, all the little things that you see in it just see if you get a finger movement on virus is that a virus is that a virus so just just the word virus okay <clears throat> and uh, don't have it in there okay at all now what's that test on what did you you just got a signal there what was you doing i was just doing my my gravitational body because i had never quite scanned it that way before that's usually the way i scan my my uh karmic body uh-huh Do it out uh, do it out loud and show us what you're doing. Well, I'm uh testing that that there's a herp that there's a virus there. There's a virus in various places in my a gravitational body. Moving it as I find it. And now my gravitational body is free of all viruses my celestial body is free my spiral body is free my etheric body is free my astral karmic wait and so wait you should scan your entire etheric body every chakra which goes way up above your head you have 144 chakras Can you feel all your chakras? Yeah. Okay. Tell us which chakra you're on as you test it. I'm going to the top. I'm at the 144th chakra. And then you're going down from there, right? Right. So tell us where you are as you go down and see if you get any signals. Just say it's free of and see if you get a signal every time you say it's free of it. I'm down in the 120s and so far Really 
I can't really be so all over you because I've done the same thing. I've done the same thing you did, just with a different disease. Well, I'm sure we all have our weak spots like that, and that's why we all need to, we need to have, you know, uh, this needs to catch on more because when more people are doing this, we won't, we'll catch each other more. We will catch each other more. Well, you know, we've been trained to take, to not take herpes seriously. Well, we've been trained to not take it seriously, partly by, uh, you know, commercials that tell you you can erase the symptoms, thinking that that's curing. Yep. It's uh, like that's the answer to people. Good feeling is the goal, exactly. I mean, you cure your cancer so you can enjoy your life. Right. And so, yeah. if you don't have cancer, but you just have a life to enjoy, this, what we're showing you here, is a good thing to be doing. Because personally, I enjoy my life a lot more now because I'm just a lot more functional than I was when, before I started removing the things that made me dysfunctional. Well, then it's really good that you're saying that because that is, you know, if you're listening to this and watching, and watching us, as you navigate through these lessons, that's what you're going to keep looking for is how you feel. You're going to keep noticing how you feel as you, as you do all these things. The feeling is everything. Feeling is everything. The good feeling is everything. If there's not a good feeling there, that is a sign that you have something to address, to remove, to discover, to install, to know. And there's something else about this. When you remove a disease, like the first time I removed my herpes, there was a bad feeling that was gone that I never knew I had before I removed it. A lot of the bad feelings you have, you don't know are there till you remove them. Right. But then by their absence, they're very noticeable. Describe what your bad feeling was like and, and what was different when you... It was sort of a buzzing on the emotional level, but a bad buzzing, not a good buzzing, like you were buzzing a few minutes ago. So it was a bad, it was bad, okay? It was being keyed up. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> so... Yeah, that's a different kind of buzzing. And all of a sudden it was gone and I was breathing better and I was... And this was very sudden because I took my herpes out, boom, and it was, you know... Which is, you know, <clears throat> you take the herpes out of all your bodies. That's how you do it. And after you learn the basic removal skill, you go, you get a password, and you go to the list of bodies, and you go down the bodies one by one, and you take whatever you want to take out of each body. And you look for it, and you learn to feel the bodies. Because you have other bodies than your physical body, at which everybody knows because they've seen Carolyn Mace on Oprah, who reads Aura, so they know there's an etheric body and so on. So they, people know there are other bodies by now. It's, it's common knowledge. And that's what you do. You take it out of all your bodies. And then it's gone. And if you keep it out, then it shows up negative on a medical test and so on. You know, and then your symptoms never come back. Well, and if they do come back, you know what to do.